Welcome folks, I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Char Kirk. Hi there. We're gonna look at The Meg. This is a trailer recommended to me by Greg Alba, my brother from The Real Rejects. He said you gotta check it out. It's very interesting. So, we're gonna check it out. It's off the Chinese coast, by the way, Jabby. Cool shoes. That's the same uh, BB-8 technology. God, I hope that's some free and fourth class. What's that? Oh, it's him. Yeah. There's a monster outside. Damn. Let's uh. Let's what get you out of there. discovered is bigger than we ever thought possible. How big is that thing? It was the largest shark that ever existed. A living fossil. Thought to have been extinct over two million years. Wrong. That's close. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. My god. It's Megalodon. He's kidding, right? Oh no, no. Oh, we got Oh no, 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 get out! Oh, now it's Oh boy. No. need to find it and kill it. That is... Why don't you just put a tracker on it? That is so big. Did you guys ever watch Shark Week? Wow. Damn. It looks heroic. It's kind of got a negative attitude. <laughs> oh no. Jesus Christ. Oh my. Oh, yes, you ugly. Damn, damn. What the hell? <laughs> that has to be just for the logo. Yeah, it's got to be. Oh. My Megalodon. I knew it. I was like, yeah, the super big shark. Of all things, I know that this is more like on the kind of ridiculous side, almost yeah. like Sharknado or something like that, but more grounded than yeah, Sharknado. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. I'm getting the feels of something like The Abyss. Have you ever seen The Abyss? I it's a James seen the it's Abyss. a James Cameron movie you guys should check out. It's very interesting. It's a long film, it's like three hours, but it was a very fascinating look at what we don't know about under the water. Yeah. I mean, it's dealing with aliens and stuff like that. That's a slight spoiler. <laughs> it's just interesting because part of what this is talking about is how like there's stuff deep under the water that we just are completely oblivious to. Well, yeah, like the earth is 70% water and so much of that is deep water yeah. that we don't actually explore as much. These kind of underwater stations, that is that yeah. is a thing that yeah. is coming. And so this is conceivably possible. I mean, not the size of the shark, but like- We don't know. That's I, I, feel like, like, I feel like we probably would have seen that by now. It's that's like, a remnant from prehistoric times. Sharks were around at the same time as the dinosaurs. That's. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is why I'm afraid of surfing. I mean, Jason Statham's always fun. He's always a, a great addition to yeah. any film. You stick him in any movie, it'll, it's automatically like at least 25% more interesting. <laughs> the Statham factor. Yeah, the Statham factor. That's the studio mathematical calculation. Like if you add Jason Statham in there, it's 25% more interesting. Yeah. I enjoyed as well that kind of balance between the just ridiculousness of the huge shark, the fear, the nervousness, and then throwing in a few little quippy remarks and comedy as well, just to relieve the tension, which is, you know, it's a great formula. They did that as well in Rampage that we watched recently. Right. This actually falls into that same kind of category yeah. as Rampage. It's like kind of massive destruction or a scary monster thing, but it mm -hmm. still somehow maintains this kind of lighthearted tone. Yeah. Rain Wilson is a great addition to this. I, mm -hmm. I really like him a lot. I feel like he's not seen enough in movies. I think that his humor is just very spot on, that kind of dry sensibility. Yeah. I'm excited to see him in something else. You like Ruby Rose from, you know, he, she was well, in John Wick 2. Yes. She, she does movies. And uh, Orange is the New Black. Right. Just bring in the hotness. Thanks, Ruby. One of my all-time favorite movies is Jaws. So you've already got me the moment you got a shark in there. I watched the Sam Jackson one. What's it called? Into the Blue or, or Deep Blue Sea or something like that where the sharks could move backwards. Oh, God. Yeah, that was like a, a, a thing that 
sharks can actually do. Did you see Deep Blue Sea? No, and I've never seen Jaws either. I'm just genuinely very, very scared of sharks. Well, we've got a shark week to <gasps> explore here. You need to watch Jaws and you need to watch Deep Blue Sea. Oh my God, like there's this very iconic moment in that movie with Sam Jackson that if, if you guys haven't seen it yet, you need to watch it. There's a very iconic moment with Sam Jackson in there that is very unforgettable. I really like this idea a lot because I feel like we haven't done enough to explore oceanic experiences yeah. in film. Even if it is in the context Text of a very kind of fun, silly, uh, action rampage type movie. I still like the idea of exploring this because more than likely kids are gonna watch this movie and they're gonna become curious about this kind of stuff. Not yeah. just sharks, but the other underwater creatures as well. Or just be terrified of the sea forever and never go swimming. I'm not showing that to my kid. I would. I would share it with my, this looks like a film you could share with your eight or nine year old and they'll be fine. They'll, they'll be a little freaked out, but they'll be fine. It'll, it, it just, you know, gives them a, what do you call it, character. Give them character. Oh my. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please be sure to check out Achara Kirk on the social media. She's got an Instagram, she has an Instagram, uh, Instagram account. She has an Instagram account that doesn't require the use of English. And she is uh, very popular on there and you can help make her more popular. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.